A rebel media investigation now following up on a story we broke for you on Monday. A 2,700-page document dump from Fredericton High School in New Brunswick, Canada. The rebel filed our access to information request after a tip from one parent who reported migrant students, adult men really, in their 20s hitting on 14-year-old girls and intimidating young Canadian boys in the classroom. Now, bullying in high schools is a problem for too many of our youths. While politicians on both sides of the 49th have done their fair share of virtue signaling on the topic, so I wonder what color of T-shirt they'll ask us to don to signify our solidarity against a new type of bullying on campus, this one with a radical flair. According to numerous email exchanges between teachers at Fredericton High, migrant students are becoming risks in the classroom, bullying and intimidating the others. And they're not just picking on students their own size, but causing abundant grief for the younger students. Uh, but I get it. Rough housing, particularly between boys, isn't exactly shocking, even if one's in his 20s and the other in his tweens. All right, so, so what do you say about this? The Syrian refugee students threatening a Canadian boy for simply brushing against a Syrian girl's back with his own, while the two were simply seated back to back. Seriously. Even after the Canadian boy apologized, Syrian students became aggressive. One even kicked the Canadian boy, which led this teacher to say that she's, quote, worried about retribution towards the Canadian student in the days to come. And then this. 19 and 20-year-old migrant students making racist comments to their non-Syrian classmates, again, picking on the younger kids even more than the others. And then, is this the sort of thing that's common on campuses these days? I don't know. Migrant students counting RPGs among their favorite hobbies and pastimes as teachers are reduced to telling them, no, Sonny, we don't do that here in Canada. Perhaps one of the most shocking emails that I came across, though, was inside this note. Postmarked on March 22nd, it reads, quote, Today's events in Europe may have a trickle factor in our wing for students of a certain culture. There is a lot of energy or excitement with the students that we should be mindful of today. But what happened in Europe on March 22nd of this year? Oh, that's right. The Brussels bombings. Two at the airports and one at the metro station, all of which claimed the lives of 32 innocents and injured some 300 more. So teachers are told to be mindful of students of a certain culture who are excited and energetic about a terrorist attack? Huh. Folks, what I'm sharing with you right now is not conjecture, not speculation or mere allegations from people far away from the supposed going-ons. No. These are just the facts agreed upon and reiterated over 2,700 pages of correspondence between school staff, the eyewitnesses to each of these sad scenarios. And what I've shown you today is just a glimpse into the astounding world revealed to us in this pile of documents that we've received just so far. I hope you'll join me this Thursday night for a full report on Sharia creep in Canada's Fredericton High School. And stay tuned for another update on this file tomorrow, right here at therebel.media. Like what you just saw? Click here and become a member. Watch full episodes of my show, On the Hunt, at therebel.media.